Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with GetOnStream.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go out there and mute your mic on Discord while still being able to talk to your stream. Obviously, if you're chatting away and like talking to people in your chat, it's kind of annoying for people in your Discord, especially if they're other streamers, hearing your voice coming through. And then obviously that's going out to their streams. People are talking over each other things get very confusing. So you'll see a lot of streamers who just talk away to their chat and it doesn't seem to affect their Discord chat or you can't hear their Discord chat when people are talking you know, to their streams. So how does that work? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you step by step how you can set it up in Discord very easily so that you can toggle a mute on and off. You can also use push to talk if that's something that you would prefer to do. And we're gonna show you how you can deafen your Discord chat so that your stream can't hear the chat when you don't want them to because obviously when you're having conversations with your chat you want it just to kind of be you and your chat so maybe in like pre-game lobbies for example if you're playing warzone when you're in the game you're going to be mainly focused on the game talking to your friends or the people that you're playing with but whenever you're in the pre-game lobby that's a great time to answer questions and talk to your chat so you want to mute then so that other people can't hear you so let's go ahead and jump in and see exactly how you can do that the first thing that we want to take note of is that no matter what, your mic is going to be open in Streamlabs. So everything that you say, whether you're talking to chat or talking to your friends, your stream will be able to hear that. You can obviously come into Streamlabs if you don't want your stream to hear something. You could either like manually mute your mic on the microphone or you can do it in here in Streamlabs. I could just click the mute button and my chat would not hear my microphone. But the main issue is when you're talking in Discord. So what you wanna do is open up Discord right here and come into your settings. Whenever you come into settings, you're going to get this page right here. So we really have two options here and it really just depends on personal preference. We can have either a key bind, which is you know a button on your keyboard, maybe on your stream deck, maybe on your mouse, depending on your setup, you can select a button to toggle on or off your mute. So that's the way that I prefer to do it. However, some people like to use push to talk where you hold down a key and when you're holding down that key, your mic is open in Discord. So every time you wanna to talk to your friends, you need to be holding that key. I don't really like that one because whenever I'm in game, I don't want to have to have some finger on a button to talk to my friends. I just wanna be able to openly chat to them. So I prefer to toggle it on and off in different periods when I'm talking to stream or talking to my friends. So I'm gonna show you first how to go ahead and do this with the toggle mute on and off. So what you actually wanna do is come down to keybinds for this one, and you wanna have this action right here called toggle mute. You can see I've got it set up and I have a button on my mouse that I can just click that button whenever I want to mute my chat. So you can just come in here and go to add a keybind, select this drop down right here, and then just click toggle mute, click this, and that's gonna record a keybind. So then you hit a button and you can see I've clicked mouse four. So now every time I click mouse four, my thing is either gonna mute or unmute depending on what setting it's currently at. This stage you may also be thinking, uh, how do I go ahead and stop my stream from hearing the chat in my Discord at certain points? Cause you obviously you might not want that overlapping in voices. So what you do for that is just come here again to add a key bind click in these actions right here and you want to toggle deafen. So you can select this as a different key and then you can toggle deafen. So when deafen's on, you won't hear, you won't hear or your stream won't hear anything coming from that Discord chat or channel. So you just go ahead, set that, and then you can use them two keys, whether it's on your like stream deck, on your keyboard, if you've you know some spare keys that you can use, you can go ahead, set them, and it makes it very easy to toggle this on and off so that you can talk to your stream chat while also selectively talking to your Discord chat. If you prefer the push to talk method where you want to hold down a specific key, come in here to voice and video, and you'll see here we've got an input mode. So in this input mode, you wanna select push to talk, and then you're gonna select a key bind that you push whenever you want to speak. And then you will have to hold down that specific key when you want to speak and your Discord will only be able to hear you when that key is pushed down. Obviously in certain situations or certain games, this one may be fine. But for me, when I'm playing something like Warzone, I prefer to just have that toggle on. So this is really personal preference for you. Hopefully this video helped you select which one is best for you and easily get that set up. There's also a written article down below in the description you can check out with tons of other articles over on getonstream.com to help you with your streaming career. So go ahead, check them out. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. We're trying to grow the channel here. Hit subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of July. So go ahead, hit that like button, hit subscribe, check out some of these other videos on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.